today we are studying the moving charges and magnetism before introducing this chapter what we have studied in previous chapters let us have a brief look at that in electric charges and fields what you studied in that chapter there was a stationary charge and all stationary charges produces electric field around that there is an electric field and if you bring any of the charge in it it always experiences either repulsive force or attractive force but it feels some force and in second chapter you studied that if you bring a charge and against electrostatic force if you bring it it needs certain work and this work itself stored in a charge as a potential energy and later we introduced the concept of capacitor it is a device used for storing the charges and these two chapters together is called as electrostatics where the charges were at rest but if you come to the third chapter in third chapter the charges were now in motion the charges were put in motion now it is moving when the charges moves that constitutes a current and current electricity and here we introduced one more device called as resistor and cells so this is what we studied in some of the topics in current electricity and here in this particular chapter chapter 4 moving charges and magnetism when a charge is put in motion when a charge is in motion whether may be single charge or it may be all charges are moving in a conductor that always produces some magnetic field around that the stationary charge only produces electric field stationary charge only produces electric field but if the charge is in motion that produces magnetic field as well now to introduce this magnetic field it produces there was an experiment orsted experiment let us start studying about this particular experiment orsted experiment orsted experiment here the experimental setup is there so here you can see there is a battery of certain emf e and this is connected to the simple wire only the wire is there and a key is there if you close the key what happens the current will flow in it from positive terminal the current will flow here i have one more device i have that is called as magnetic needle so magnetic needle means it consisting of north pole as well as south pole here red color indicates uh, it is orange orange color indicates that it is north pole and the black side it is south pole the magnetic needle is nothing but a magnet itself it always deflect when you take it towards any of the other magnet otherwise it won't deflect whenever you take this needle towards any of the magnet or magnetic field in a region it deflects if there is no magnetic field or any magnet it doesn't deflect at all such kind of magnetic needle i took it here somewhere here under the wire so now the key is not closed and no current is flowing in it now the current start flowing in it when i close the key you see the current started flowing here when i close the key but one more thing you observe there 
the magnetic needle is also deflected. This side is deflected, right? Why it is deflected? And though any other magnet is not there and no magnetic field over there, why it is deflected? That's what the Orset started thinking. And later he got that something magnetic field should be here. Maybe some magnet is there, that is why it is deflecting. And later after doing some other experiments, he finally concluded that when the current is flowing through a conductor, that conductor itself produces the magnetic field. The conductor itself produces the magnetic field around that. So this is what he observed the experiment. So when current was allowed to flow through a wire, placed parallel to the axis of the magnetic needle, kept directly below the wire, the needle was found to deflect from its normal position. Now I have one more kind of circuit. Here only the battery is reversed. So compared to the previous experiment, the battery is reversed. Okay, now again the same kind of circuit and the key were opened and no current in it. And consider the magnetic needle, it interacts with any other magnetic field, then only it will deflect. Now I will close the key. If I close the key, the current starts flowing in the circuit. And you observe one more thing, that is, the needle were deflected. The needle were deflected this side. Why it is deflected? Because the wire itself produces the magnetic field around it when the current is flowing in it. Therefore, when the current was reversed through the wire, the needle was found to deflect in the opposite direction to the earlier case. These were the observation made by the Orsted. So, what's his final conclusion? Then the final conclusion is that when a conductor carrying current, when a conductor carrying current, it produces the magnetic field around that. If this is a conductor carrying current I, it always produces the magnetic field around that. This is the observation made by Orsted. From here only the magnetism were started. Okay. When the current is flowing in the upward direction, the direction of north pole of the needle is towards this side. And when the current direction is reversed, then the direction of deflection of north pole of the needle is also reversed. And this direction of deflection can be found by one rule called as Ampere's swimming rule. That is Ampere's swimming rule. Then what is that? That rule, the statement of that rule. We will see that. According to Arpier's swimming rule, here there is a conductor you are observing. This is the conductor. And the current is flowing in this direction, in a conductor. Now, I kept a needle under the conductor. Here the needle is there, you are observing. This is the north pole of the needle. And what is the direction of deflection of this needle? Is it towards this side or is it towards this side? That can be found by this rule called as Ampere's swimming rule. So now to find out the deflection of north needle, imagine a man swimming along the wire in the direction of current with his face towards the needle. His face always should face towards the needle. He should be swimming on the top of the wire. And the needle is under the wire. Okay. 
so that the current enters his feet so the current is entering his feet and leaving his head like this okay then north pole of the magnetic needle will be deflected towards his left hand his left hand is always going towards that side correct so the north pole is also should deflect that side only not towards right side and this rule is called as ampere swimming rule so the rule in which the man who is swimming should be on the top of the wire so the man should be on the top of the wire his face is towards the wire and the needle is under the wire the needle is somewhere here this is north pole and south pole so the current is flowing along the wire passes through his feet and leaves his head like this it is there then his left hand is like this so that side so the north pole also deflect towards left hand that's what the rule says